This is a big turnabout for the government. It was a year ago that the Justice Department dropped a criminal investigation of Armstrong. The evidence against him now first came out in secret testimony in that criminal case. But the Department of Justice dropped the case without explanation before a grand jury even had a chance to vote on indictments. That's when the head of the U.S. Anti-Doping Agency, Travis Tigart, pressed ahead and brought Armstrong down. In his only interview, we spoke to Tigart for 60 minutes. When you first heard that the U.S. Department of Justice was going to investigate whether criminal charges were appropriate in this case, what did you think of that? I thought it was absolutely appropriate. It was the right thing to do. Federal taxpayers, close to $40 million, were paid to this team to run what we now know is the most sophisticated and professionalized drug program that the world's ever seen. After the criminal investigation was dropped, Travis Tigart pressed ahead and developed the evidence that cost Armstrong his titles and resulted in his lifetime ban from sports. Last month, Tigart sent this letter to the U.S. Attorney General urging him to join the fraud lawsuit. Tigart wrote that Armstrong's scheme was one of the greatest frauds in the history of sport. He called Armstrong's previous denials cold, calculated lies. I think a jury should have an opportunity to decide whether the tens of millions of taxpayer dollars that were defrauded by this team and Lance Armstrong and his associates, whether or not they, the government should be paid back for that. Tigart's U.S. Anti-Doping Agency said today that the lawsuit, quote, holds promise for returning the many millions of federal dollars in ill-gotten gains generated by this fraud.